Well, hello, my fellow Python programmers. In this video, we are going to make a keylogger in Python using a module called PyInput. Now, some of you guys must be wondering what the heck is a keylogger. Well, a keylogger is basically like that one noisy friend who reads everything while you're texting. Except it's a keyword and it writes down everything you type, even your password and even that embarrassing Google search Bruh. to AM. And I think that's it. You probably got a little idea about a keylogger. If you want to know more about a keylogger, then you can just uh, Google it or ChatGPT it. For now, we are just going to implement that. All right, the first step is to change some settings in Windows Defender. Sometimes Windows Defender detects certain scripts as malicious and automatically removes them. So we need to add an exclusion. For that, go to privacy and security and open virus and threat protection. And inside that, you should open virus and threat protection settings. And inside that, open exclusions and here you can see i have already added an exclusion folder which is my key local folder where i'm currently working and we're good to go next up we'll install the pine food module and yep we are going with the version 1.6.8 because the other version can be a bit problematic now to install pine food module open your vs code click in three dot and from here, you can open a new terminal and in the terminal, type your command. The command is pip install pineput and equal equal 1.6.8. So you can see here, the pineput is already installed in my system. All right, now that we've got everything set up, all that's left is the fun part, coding. So let us Bruh. begin. All right, first things first, we are going to import listener class from pineput. For that, from pineput.keyword, import listener. And after that, I'm going to create a new function, which is on press. And it will take an argument, so I'm going to pass an argument here, which is key. And after that, I'm going to open a new file, basically, a new txt file. And we are going to open this file in append mode. Now, to make our keylogger start listening, we need to do one more thing. And that is with listener on press and I'm gonna pass the function name here on press as listener and after that listener dot join now it's time to test uh, whether the keylogger is working or not for that i'm going to run this program so i'm going to open a notepad and write something here now if i go to keylogger folder and now if i check the txt file you can see here it recorded that every key press we just did. So this is how you can make a keylogger using Python. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.